The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Second down. Makes the first down catch. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. Tackle has a decent pickup. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. Brought down around the 26 yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. at the 30 and that run got stuck yeah you're right the defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there from the 30 yard line it's second down they go to the left for a nice game Wants to throw outside. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. The coverage just couldn't keep up with him there. He makes the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Cyclones and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Some got two or three that can carry the lot. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. That's a great tackle at the 23-yard line. You know, I don't think the offense did a very good job of recognizing the corner blitz. The quarterback's got to do a better job of using his eyes to recognize the blitz. And also, it would have helped if the wide receiver would have been pointing like crazy at the corner, letting the quarterback know, hey, we've got a blitz here. This time is a big-time miscommunication by the offense. We've got third and 12. Ball in the 23. <laughs> Makes the grab and steps out right away. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Check, check, out. Disco Raver! Disco Raver! And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Oh. 
Quick throw, and he's got his man again. That'll make it 31. And down he goes at the 15 yard line. That's a That makes it first and 10. Got him. And he goes down quickly. Number 12 on the tackle at the 11 yard line. That makes it second and six. From the 11 yard line, it's second down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Guns it in there, touchdown. give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the back is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure, try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Up and the defense has got it. Loss of one on the play. Third down. Fifty-two's the mic. Here we go. Watch seven. Go. Alert! 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 Cat! Cat! He's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. the 41-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. That brings up second and one. And it's caught. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Number 18 at the 23-yard line. First down. Here's an opening. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Gain of seven yards. 
That makes it first and ten. ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the ten yard line. And he makes it out to about the eight yard line. We played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7 7. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Mike Seven! Mike Seven! Let's go! Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. It's scooped up. The defense wasn't fooled at all on the option, and it was their discipline that created that turnover. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback, and right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own eight-yard line, second down. Defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebackers. And he got through almost untouched. Tackle around the 45 yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. They'll line it up again on third down. Check 83, ball's going to 83. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. The D sniffs off the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. Utah is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. And he got it. Line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They push him out at the 33. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. Strike and he drops it. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. And this one is a beauty. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Utah is up by three. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Pass 
incomplete and taken down immediately. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's tackled in the open field. Second and six. Ball on the 32. By 52, by 52. Go, go. 288. He heaves it to the end zone. Touchdown, Utah. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. the PAT. A seven play, 69 yard drive and they give it in for seven. An amazing drive of this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sight. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Iowa State's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, they're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now's when we start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back, but in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. Go! Back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. We've got third and ten. Ball on the 25. He sails it long. Complete. He's got room. And he's finally out of bounds at the 41-yard line. What a throw. Well, here you get to see how accurate the quarterback is. He places the deep ball in there perfectly. Just a great throw. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down around the 29-yard line. Number 11 brings him down at the 29-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Quick out to his receiver. And he's tackled around the 15-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 15-yard line. It's first down. They're in the red zone after coughing up the ball on their last trip down here. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. He's wrapped up for the sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. And this play is number eight on the drive. 
They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's hit immediately. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Kicks away, and he's got it. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Iowa State lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 17-10, Utah. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both pass offenses have been prolific and really the biggest reason why, David, it seems to me anyway, quarterbacks uh, back of their jersey not even dirty. I mean, they look just the same way they did when they came out of the dressing room. So what can the defense do in the second half to change that? You could start by hitting the quarterback. Usually, Reese, as a defensive lineman, your goal is to make the quarterback feel some pain. Right now, he's not feeling any pain. Right now, basically, this is a Tuesday practice when most quarterbacks, this is why they're soft, by the way. Most quarterbacks come out to practice, they're wearing a green jersey, and they can sit back in the pocket and just sit there and pat the football once, twice, three times, then throw it. No, they're not going to get hit. It's a comfortable life. Hit him in the mouth a few times and watch those feet get a little bit happier and watch those incompletions come at a better rate. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Got some open field. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. Second and 10. Ball on their own 42. Rose left, the running back's got it, and down he goes at the 46-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. Gain of eight yards. First down. Three down. 648. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Yeah. 
Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. That's a game you love them to play. That makes it first and ten. Check, check, check. Disco Raver. Disco Raver. Motion, motion, motion. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at the 28. Number four makes the tackle up at the 28-yard line. That makes it second and two. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He makes his way out to about the nine. Good throw, caught, touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice 10 play, 75 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He makes his way to about the 42. it out to about the 49. That makes it seven and two. Four down, four down. Mike 52, Mike 52. Set it, check, check, check. Motion, two, Here we go, check the motion. Check the goal. On play action. He wants it all going long. And he's immediately tackled. Makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. And he adds the extra point. Utah gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter. Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. Be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's going to go for the home run. That tackle could have saved a very big play. 
first down. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he hits him hard at the 24. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Get off the field. Gains his way to the 13 yard line. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. There's a strike complete. Scooped up by the defense. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wideout hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Tackle at the five. Utah is up seven. Safety. Man, those guys were swarming the quarterback as soon as he got to ball. But some of the blame has to go on the quarterback. He needs to get rid of that ball when he's in his own end zone. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback, and right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. He's under pressure. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. He really got a hold of that one. This punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback. The last drive not only failed to produce points, but it cost them two. The defense is going to be coming out here on the field thinking they have their opponent's number. So somebody from this offense will have to show them something to get them to respect what they can do. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 33 yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. He's hit and taken down. So at the end of three, the Utes lead 24-19.
Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Got a man. Watch out here. Out of bounds. Head around the 14-yard line. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. And he's taken down around the four-yard line. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. This is the ninth play of this drive. such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. Here we go. Brought down at the 39-yard line. Reception. Gain of 14 yards. First down. His man, and they take him down immediately. Number 25 on the tackle at the 43 yard line. Larry, Larry. That makes it second and six. Slings it, and he's tackled around the 38 yard line. Five yard loss on the play. That's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Here's third and 11. Ball on the 38. And this one is a beauty. He makes it to the 32-yard line. What a memorable night it's been for this wideout, Kirk. Well, not only is he having a great game, but he also just seems to be having fun out there. I think the entire offense, for that matter, the entire team, seems to be responding to his infectious attitude. Already two touchdowns today, and just showing that every single time he touches the football, he's a threat to take it to the house. He's helped them get to this lead, so we'll see if they ask more of him to build an even bigger cushion. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll run it inside and tackle quickly. No big on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Run play and he'll lose yards. Brings him down. That's a loss of one yard on the way. Third down. Here go.
going to get it. Great stop. Just over two minutes in the game. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's level at the 35. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. I go! Now they see two! They bring him down. That'll make it second and long. Quick throw to the tight end. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's good for him. First and 10, ball on the 48-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And down he goes, right around the 40. The Cyclones taking their first time out of the half. Second and ten. Ball on the 40. And a quick throw. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Ross is out to the tailback on the screen. it out in a hurry. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to put the ball away. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. They'll go down to one knee. Iowa State will use their final timeout. Takes a knee. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 31-19, Utah. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.